Hi girls, it's Debbie from Everything Country in New South Wales. The other night I put some applique patterns up on Instagram and on my YouTube channel and they got a bit of a reaction and um, there's two patterns in particular that the girls would like some information on, some kits on. So I'm giving a little show and tell here. The first one was this lovely one here. This is Wild Rose, which you can see has gorgeous um, appliques in the middle and then quite basic construction around the edge. And the purpose of doing these patterns was to introduce to needle turn without it being too big a project so that you could still learn how to do it. You can do all these flowers and leaves and learn how to do it, but not be spending a year making this thing, um, or this lovely pattern, sorry, um, and use the fabrics to tell the story of the rest of it. So that was the idea behind that one. Um, the original pattern actually used fusible applique, so where you go and do your shapes on fusible paper and you usually blanket stitch it on. This is to learn needle turn, so the person that's wanting a kit for this is to learn needle turn. Um, and I'm preparing two options in kits for that, so I'm just going to do a little rundown on that. And then the second one that really caught interest, and this one has been made by a number of my customers before, and I will enclose a photo. This one is Tildy by Take Heart Design. So this one is a rather large um, cushion. So it ends up about 27 inches, um, about big square um, cushion. So again, this one's got a big background fabric and when you see the photos of what we've done, so there's a needle turn to do the vase, the urn, and then there's beautiful flowers up here. Um, the colours that were sh picked in this particular pattern aren't necessarily what I would portray. I would do darker so that you can see them all beautifully on your pattern cover. These ones show much better. They're beautiful burgundies and browns and so forth, and the urn shows well. Um, the leaves and berries here show well, but these three, in my opinion, which, you know, that's what it always is, it's my opinion, but in my opinion, those ones are lost up the top there, so I would definitely put more strength and depth into those ones there, and I also think this is a bit of an empty area in here, and we did a little bit more in that. So, um, again, this one is a needle turn, it's big shapes, it's quite easy. Um, so it's a large square that this finishes up as a big oversized cushion whereas this one finishes up at let me see where we were um, as a throw really 64 by 76 so you could quite easily put a border around that um, and have it at bed size um, or it can be a topper on your bed so that is um, doing the applique in there. Now the reason I'm standing here and taking this photo from here is basically you're looking along this type of thing. This big pattern here, when um, one of my gales made it up, it was absolutely beautiful. It was burgundies and browns and greens and really rich earthy colours. And that sat the equivalent of what's happening in the middle of that pattern there. So. Um, you can still learn this one on here is actually done by blanket stitch on machine so you know a whole nother level of speed by um, the designer here but again you could do a blanket stitch by needle turn you can uh, blanket stitch by hand you can do it by needle turn you can do any applique method you like on any applique type design so but these are specifically for me to teach you needle turn um, which I will do for Julie and um, do little zoom classes and she can just pay when she's ready to learn something else and I will show her the next step um, on zoom so very much like this and then you let the fabrics do the talking around there so that's why I put it there that you get quite a design quite quickly because they're they're rather big pieces so let's go and see what I've prepared as some kit options and see what um, you like Okay, so first off, I'm going to do a little show and tell of a lovely rich kit um, along the burgundies and greens and um, warm tones, like what you've described that you like um, and I like too. So going to do a little run through of some fabrics and bear in mind that these would be all the pieces that make up the squares around there. I hope you enjoy. 
Okay, I've picked this beautiful one out first. This is a, a stripe and it's got a smaller border part there, beautiful floral and all those leaves and everything in it there. Another stripe there and again another big floral print. So it's browns and pinks and caramels and greens. So I hope you love the colours in that because this one is the basis of the types of colours but I'm going to be showing in this kit. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. That's something I'd love myself. We'll see how we go. Beautiful tone on tone. Another gorgeous tone on tone in a soft murky pink. Now, pinky brown, all of these fabrics that I've picked out this time are of a murky tone. Beautiful, lovely tones, pinks and browns, murky. I do apologise for the shadow. I'm actually filming this at... 1am in the morning just to keep up with things so I have shadows behind me in all directions to be able to do it at night time down in my craft rooms. There you go I've been able to turn the camera on a slightly better angle so I'm not getting as big a um, shadow through it but that's a beautiful burgundy a really rich burgundy with little dot dots. Um, you actually, be, I've got that really close, you actually barely see them. It's more that beautiful burgundy tone that's showing in the shadow there. Beautiful tone on tone, rich brown. Gorgeous reproduction prints. That's salmony pink, mustard, greens, browns. Lovely old world floral. Really nice green. I love that green. And remember, what I'm showing you here, all these fabrics that I'm showing you now, are the types of fabrics that would be used in all of these tones here. So I'm showing you a whole selection that would already be coordinated for you to just cut into the required size block and the fabric already does the work. And then I teach you how to do that beautiful needle turn and the, the vines on the bias. Another beautiful reproduction, love these tones. Great thing about reproductions is that might be a core of a caramel, caramelly brown, but you can see those little pinks, burgundies in there too, and that's how they all go together. They all have a little bit of each other's colour in them, and they work out beautiful. Make sure you hang around, not long to go, and you'll see the end product of all of them together. Now, some of these prints are what I can sometimes call... I mean, I love it, but somebody else will look at how abstract the flowers are. And if I turn it over the other side, something like this, and somebody will call it an ugly print. I absolutely love it because you get so many blocks. You can have a block here that will show this part, and then you'll have a block here that will show the greens and reds. So you get so much. And then a block over here, and you've got a really lovely caramel, caramel tan. So you get so much interest out of that different looking blocks all the leaves and the flowers out of one print gorgeous a lovely little mustard floral with again the pinky red and a sort of burgundy purple tone to those little flowers on there so again this is a nice medium scale one so i've got tone on tones medium scale big scale which is everything I like to put into a quilt 
wait to see them all together. A really lovely ditzy pretty. Beautiful old world. Not a red and not a pink. Just a really old world muted tone. Beautiful rich brown. Apricots, greens. This is very much like um, the sunset colours you were talking about the other day, Julie. Really warm. And that one's actually slightly more caramelly than the tan that it's showing there. There's a little bit more caramel in the colour than what's really showing there. It's beautiful. Now, once again, I've put a bigger piece of that fabric in because I believe these could be used for all the beautiful parts towards the flowers here. That if we cut out different versions of the flowers and needle turn them on, which is actually called Brodero Purse. So something like this, when we go and cut around it into the shape of a flower and needle turn it on, it becomes one of those flowers in the turn down option. And then you look over here and look at this beautiful geranium type one that you've got there or the different colored geranium under there and then the big leaf so this is um, the basis of what I pulled all the colors from so all these greens and caramels and browns and um, light greens creams light pinks so it's a rich sunsetty type coloring which I think would look absolutely beautiful in that one there and when I always pick a fabric like this I always have a little offset watercolor so I've got this one here which is um, not a red and not a pink it's sort of in between and I would just have a little piece like that that you can use as your little frame just a little weeny quarter inch piece up there and that becomes your frame before you work And that little frame just sets off the fabric so well. So you have to sing that little weeny bit. That would be my suggestion anyway. It just lifts it. So we'd have all this gorgeous work. And then you could have that as the binding around there. Something like that. And that's what the product looks like. Rather rich, beautiful, earthy tones. All going together to be all the pieces that would be within that quilt. And the background piece there with the flowers on it is actually made up, you can tell here. See the tone that's behind that one compared to the tone that's behind that one? It's also made up of um, different fabrics for each of those pieces there. So I would pick you out some lovely coordinating ones for that. I think if you just look back into the tones, that's gorgeous. I think so. Hope you girls enjoy looking at it, but that would be the kit of what I would put together um, for that particular one. Hi girls, this is Debbie from Everything Country. I've done a little fabric pull and this would be what I'm calling country garden, beautiful reproduction garden fabrics to make up that kit for that applique pattern. Some beautiful reproductions, some beautiful tones. Very achievable, let the fabrics do all the work. Lovely little prints. Beautiful.
Thanks for watching girls. If you enjoyed this kit option, it's available on my website at www.everythingcountry.com.au and it's under kits for Wild Rose Ramble. I hope you enjoy. You can also check us out on Instagram at everythingcountry3 underscores. Thanks for viewing. Bye.